Well, the most important deal I want to do on the 7th of May is with the Scottish people so that we can make Scotland's voice heard loudly and clearly in Westminster. I then want to see the back of the Tories. I will never, ever do a deal with the Tories. Let me make that crystal clear. The polls, the polls will show that Ed isn't strong enough to get rid of the Tories on his own. So I will work with Labour with Leanne, with Natalie, so that together we can get rid of the Tories. But what I'd say to Ed is I want Ed to replace the Tories with something different and something better, something more progressive, because progressive change is what the country is crying out for. So that's my offer to Ed Miliband. If he's prepared to be better than the Tories, then I'm prepared to work with him to allow him to replace the Tories, which I think is what many people want to see. So, um, Ed Miliband, you've heard the offer that came from Nicola Sturgeon. She'll support you, her offer, she said, if you pursued more progressive policies. What's your reply to that? That, that I've got fundamental disagreements with you, Nicola. Because in the last couple of weeks, you've revealed that you haven't ruled out having a second referendum on independence in the next five years. Now, look, we're just very different. We've got very different views. I mean, I respect your views that you want to break up the country, but that's not my view. I think that will be a disaster for the working people of Britain. So we have profound differences between us, between us, David. That's why I'm not going to have a coalition with the SNP. But because I'm never going to put at risk the unity of our United Kingdom. And why? Because I care too much about the working people of our country. And I think it will be a disaster for us to start competing against each other, driving down wages, uh, dismantling the basic state pensions as a foundation of security in retirement, and dismantling our country. So it's a no, I'm afraid. I don't know what... Ed Miliband is talking about the question of independence was for the referendum last year. This election is about getting rid of the Tories. And Ed, whatever differences you have with me, surely there is nothing to the differences both of us have with the Tories. This is about how we deliver better politics for people, not just in Scotland, but right across the UK. This election is an opportunity to seize an alternative to austerity to protect our public services, to create more and better jobs, to have a higher minimum wage, to protect our National Health Service. Ed's going into this election not promising the money that the National Health Service needs. What I'm saying is I can help Labour be bolder, to deliver the change that David. we really need. David. Because that's what this election is about. For me, it's about making Scotland's voice heard. But secondly, it's about delivering real change, not pretend change, but real change for people right across this country. Don't right. turn your back Nicola, on that Nicola, head and let David Nicola, Cameron back uh, into Downing Street. Oh no, Nicola, look, here's the situation. You've got a very odd approach, because you claim you want a Labour government, but you're saying anyone but Labour. In England, you're saying vote Green. In Wales, you're saying vote Plaid Cymru. And of course, in Scotland, you're saying vote SNP. And you know that for every one less Labour MP, the likelihood is that will end up with David Cameron and Nick Clegg, not on the stage tonight, perhaps with a bit of N N Nigel thrown in. And the truth is, you want to gamble on getting rid of a Tory government. It's I can guarantee that we get rid of a but Tory government if you vote Labour in this election. Florida. And the, the reality is this. If on May the 8th, there are more anti-Tory MPs in the House of Commons than there are Tory MPs, then if we work together, we can lock David Cameron out of Downing Street. So tell me tonight, you know is it the case that you would rather see David Cameron go back into Downing Street than work with the SNP? No, the Surely that cannot no. be your position. <laughs> I've fought Tories all my life. Unlike the SNP, which presaged a Tory government in 1979. Unlike your leader, Alex Salmond, who yes. said vote Lib Dem in 2010, and we end up with a yes. Lib Dem Tory coalition. I was and unlike you at this election, you fought Labour this all your life, Nicola. We I'm have a chance to kick David Cameron right. out of Downing Street. Don't turn your back right. on it. I think, People I will think... never forgive you. All right. I... I think I... 